You're not waiting until after three to join the fun. The fun is starting now because it's a uh, monkey has Olympic fever. Fever. The prescription's for cowbell. No, it's not. Uh, two <laughs> Olympians with me in the studio today. Uh, Helen Upperton. Hello, Helen. Hi. How are you? Anna Mae Pierce. Hello. Is it Pierce or Pierce? Pierce. Uh, Pierce. So it's a Pierce. C, but it's an S. Yeah, we're tricky like that. Okay, I don't like that too. It's like Piers Morgan. It's Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan. So ladies, welcome again to, uh, to uh, the Maritimes. How, how have you been holding up here in the Maritimes? Been pretty good so pretty far. Pretty good, yeah. A little chilly, but nice and crisp. Crisp, yeah. yeah. Then the welcome from the community has been phenomenal. The event at the Coliseum yesterday was oh. just insane. 6,000 screaming teenagers. Uh, yeah. It was wonderful. It was like a Justin Bieber concert, I imagine. It was. Or something. Or I wasn't there, but it probably would have been better than It Justin was so hard. Oh, sure, so sure. Come on, look at us. I mean, yell it. Well, yeah. Bieber has nothing on us. Exactly. Well, yeah, you're, you're women. That's <laughs> <laughs> and we don't play that guy here. Uh, so of course this event is pretty cool. Mutton's uh, getting it. What uh, what did you say to the kids yesterday? Um, we were part of a panel. They got to ask some questions, um, which is pretty neat. It's a really cool way to also see like the diversity in Canada. We had like French schools and English schools and lots of bilingual um, stuff going on. It was neat. And um, the Arkells played yes. some songs, which was awesome. And um, yeah, it was just a neat chance for us to interact. We spent a lot of time like up in the crowds, like showing them our medals, and um, they were talking to us, asking lots of questions, and sure. just interacting. What do what are the kids? What is the most common questions that uh, athletes get asked? You know what? It, it it's all over the shop. Like yeah. the most yeah. random questions sometimes about sports, sometimes about your personal life, about yeah. yeah. <laughs> they come. They have some really good questions. Like, well, you know, how kids are they're interested and intrigued. Right. And, Fearless in questions, too, right. I imagine. Yeah, just yeah, whatever, whatever's good. off the top of their head, right? Yeah. So, and, and uh, this whole tour, like I said, there's a Hall of Fame dinner, inducting uh, Elvis Stoico, among others, right? So, uh, what is about the, 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 uh, the camaraderie between Olympic athletes? Like, you guys are pretty, you know, you're a close bunch when you're, when you're traveling and, and representing Canada, right? It must be, it's like a cool little uh, sorority, frat house, right? It is a little bit like that. It's definitely a little bit like a frat house when we get, when we get going. Um, it's really neat that we, we, we're coming to things like this and get to meet, you know, I'm a summer athlete, Helen's a winter athlete, and you get to kind of interact and, and see the other sports, and it's things like this, really, the only time when you do get to meet other other people, because you're always so training in your little bu bubble. Right. So it's pretty sweet. Didn't you, I read on um, on your Twitter, you're on, you're on the Twitter. You have to put I'm, on, the, I'm on the Twitter. The, the Twitter. You just I finished did. school. I did. Wow. <laughs> wow. High school? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. No, just wrote my last exam on, on Wednesday and peace out. Right, so you're good. when you all grow up, what do you want to be? Uh, <laughs> employed. Employed? Employed, yeah. Uh, well, I did, my degree's in psychology, but oh. I'm not doing that. Can you analyze me after this no, interview? Probably. Not we, on the we, we don't have that much time. Yeah, <laughs> we've got to go. We've got stuff. Because Helen, Helen loves my Twitter bio. She thought that was, yeah. just, you know, so true. Well, truthful. it's the accidental sexiness. It, it really catches it, you. It does. Or it, the, the university women's janitor. Yeah, yeah. I have dreams too, girls. You know, they may not come true, but that's anyway. important. Yeah. So Helen, you, uh, you're a bobsledder. Yeah. A bobs. Is that right? Is that, that's sure, a, that's yeah. a term. The yeah. two women bobsledder. You're the driver. I am. You're an excellent driver. On most days, most I would days. say. How are you in the car? Just saying. Reckless. Reckless. Just reckless. <laughs> no, I have an I have an issue with speed actually, like a big problem. I have a that I, you love it. You mean? I love it. Yeah. I can't I can't help it. It's terrible. And uh, I have an 1100 cc motorbike as well that keeps me busy in the summer. So um, I I like fast things in general. You know. So. Yeah. I try, I try to obey obey the traffic regulations. It's actually, it's difficult for me, though. No doubt. I have to really pay, really concentrate. Adrenaline drunkie. Is that what you are? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is that what led you into bobsledding? Yeah, it's a bit of an accidental um, occurrence, though, for most of us. We all uh, grew up playing other sports. Like, we came from speed and power sports, and they recruit you uh -huh. to, to try out for the team. So I did track and field in college, and... Um, then I got a phone call. The guy's like, "Hey, uh, we looked at your stats. You're pretty big for a girl. Do you want to do bobsled?" I was like, "Thanks, buddy. Sure, <laughs> I'll try it." You're so, yeah, you're anyway. awfully husky. You're <laughs> what? That's uh, that's thick, not right. Solid. Thick, 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 sure, yeah. Anyway, so I was crazy enough to try it, and I loved it, and uh, it's really exciting and fun. And what was the pinnacle? I'm thinking it was probably just you know about a year ago or so. That was an incredible experience, right. and getting to. Not a lot of people get the opportunity to race at the Olympics and to get to do it in front of home mm -hmm. crowd and Canada. 
it wasn't just Vancouver and it wasn't just our families. It was like you actually felt the whole country support you. And I think that's why it's really great to be here in Moncton too, because we're spreading, you know, we're spreading the Olympic love across uh, across the country to the, from the West Coast all the way to the East Coast. Yeah. The people here have been really receptive. And where's the medal? Oh, where's the medal? <laughs> it's in my hotel room, and I'm really embarrassed right now. So, uh, so she got, can like, we... dragged in here. She didn't have time to think. It was like, hey, will you do this? So, yeah. Sarah, can you get some tinfoil and shave it into a medal just so we can get her for the picture My later. friends did that after my race, because you don't get your medals till the day after. And all my friends that were there um, watching, they, they made cardboard wrapped in tinfoil medals. And they said, man, we're so glad you won the silver, because if you won gold or bronze, we couldn't have done this. <laughs> like, That's true, you couldn't have. So. We would have had to melt grandma's watches down or something, <laughs> yeah. all our jewelry. Uh, and, I mean, it was, uh, it was such a, a prideful thing. I mean, I, probably as each Olympics, uh, as it goes on, as I get older, I think they really develop more of a, uh, you know, like a, a sense of pride, and obviously it's in Vancouver. But I mean, it just captivated the entire country for, for those two weeks. And, and I was the only one. We had withdrawals for like, you know, a couple weeks after. Because like, oh, yeah. we're, we're so into it. You, do. Like, you might crash. try to withdraw from alcohol for a lot of people, though. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot consumed on that street down there, that main street, of course. And then, uh, what was the guy from Calgary that won? John with Montgomery. The, John Montgomery. With the picture, with the picture there. I mean, that's uh, that's Canada. That's how yeah, that's how we do the Olympics yeah. up here, right? So. It, was, it was amazing. And there, it was a chance for also Canada to meet a lot of great athletes that have been working really hard to, you know, represent the country and wear the maple leaf proudly. And it really, they did such a good job of showcasing the athletes and their stories, so it was really amazing to be a part of that. Awesome. Uh, anime, I had some questions prepared for you. Like I said, Helen was a surprise. And I <laughs> like I have to I have to get Bob's like what? Uh, but I have a couple of swimming questions. Alright. If you are bald do you still have to wear a swimming cap? It's your choice. Really? Yeah, I don't even have to wear one, I just do because otherwise I'd have this like mop of hair right. like in my mouth and I could breathe. Well, she, in you're swimming, you're shaking as as I that's shake awesome. My hair. Do we have video of this? Are you getting video of this good stuff? <laughs> Because we're going to put, like, uh, Brent House music to it or something like that on the website. Uh, okay, many athletes, like, like baseball players, have a favorite baseball park. Hockey players like certain rinks because of the ice. Is there a pool that you remember uh, having uh, the most chlorine in it? The most chlorine? Yes, that the taste you know, it got, burned well, your eyes. The chlorine kind of... Uh... Changes usually in pools, anyways. Like you always, you get you you have like burns after you swim in some. But uh, India was pretty special when they special. they they uh, were sweeping the rat poo into the pool. Whoa! Uh, yeah, oh, that's, special times. That's not hygienic. It sounds <laughs> no, to me. I'm no. no, I'm no scientist. And, but, but the beginning of the week, if you watch video, if you go back and look at Commonwealth Games, the pool at the beginning of the week is super clean and crystal, and you can see all the way. And then by the end, the last day, the pool is green. Really? Or, yeah, oh, it was so gross. <laughs> so, which kind of now, my next question is already answered because you're in the pool so much, do you even shower? Uh, you you kind of do sometimes. <laughs> you kind of do. Know. Anyway. Uh, Helen, ever... Helen learned a shocking, shocking information about swimmers. What? They, they pee in their suits. I'm not even joking, they pee in their suits. Ask her about this. Do you pee in your suits, Anna Mae? We pee in the pool all the time. Well, who does? How? how that disturbed me deeply. They were. She was shocked. She, she just sat there. You do what? <laughs> I watch. I love watching Olympics, and I love watching these guys compete, like the Summer Olympics, and um, especially when you get to know them. Like we're cheering. And now when I watch them, I'm like, I wonder if she's peeing in the pool right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not thinking about her world record that she has in the 200 meter breaststroke. I'm thinking about her peeing in the pool. Right. It should be almost like a dye thing. It happens. You know, if it happens, they used to, and some pools. That would be amazing. They, uh -huh. they used to be like that, where in the chlorine, there was something in the chlorine that if you peed, it turned red. Right. So you'd always see the little boys, the little <laughs> I, girls, where I, the yeah. little boys would be like, yeah, look at this. <laughs> there's another uh, stream of questioning there, but I'm not going there's, 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 There is one pool in the States when you pee. Wave. Do the wave. Do the wave. <laughs> it's amazing. That's crazy. I would just if I was last at a swimming meet, I would just yell out shark. I don't know if that's ever happened. I don't know if that would work. Mm -hmm. Let's throw people out off Probably maybe. Not. Shark, shark, seriously? You're the one? Uh, for a split you, second, would you split like would you always crack. look around? Oh, wait, I'm in a pool. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Uh girls, uh three favorite bands of your favorite Helen, what's yours? Oh, bands. That's a really good question, actually. Um, I listen Just to. Three. I don't know. I can't. Oh. I listen to so much music, all genre. Okay, right. all genres except country. I'm not really a big country fan. Okay. And I grew up in. I live mostly in Alberta and Texas, and I don't like country. Wow. What's wrong with me? You're a rebel. That's what you well, are. Clearly. You're clearly a rebel. <laughs> I, I I listen to so much music. I couldn't pick. I mean, all athletes use. 
music to train, right? I oh, mean, yeah. it's, 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 in a, it's a motivator, right? Yeah. What about you, Emma? Um, see, I'm a huge country fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. you guys are rooming together, I don't think. No. Um, favorite ones, though, I don't really know. I went and saw Goo Goo Dolls recently, yeah. and I've loved them since I was, like, little, and they were amazing. Um, when they, when you were a goo doll, when you were just tiny, I was just tiny, tiny goo, goo doll. doll. I was a little bit of goo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, same thing. I couldn't pick. Okay. Too my 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 parents play a lot of records and stuff. My dad loves like music. He always used to, and I know every lyric to every ELO song ever. Yeah. Made. And like CCR and and the, I I have tons of their stuff on my iPod, so they're probably up there. Right on. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I, I thank you girls for stopping by. I know you got a very busy schedule. Continue the success training and winning and winning, uh, just like Sheen. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, come back again and visit. You know, yeah, come down, we'll hang thanks. out at the beach. We'll eat some uh, lobster, drink some beers. Sounds, Sounds fantastic. Is that cool? Yeah. Anime awesome. appears. Helen Upperton, thank you so much, ladies. Thank you.